Hello, my name's Helen. Tomorrow morning around about 7.40 GMT, the moon is going to reach its final quarter. It will arrive around about noon tonight and set around about um, midday. And at dawn, when the moon um, is at the highest point in, its, in the sky, there will be the high tides. It's moving towards its apogee at the moment, I wish it would reach in a few days time. Um, this means it's slow and getting slower. But there won't be an extreme of apogee during this point because that doesn't happen during the quarter phases. It happens at the full and the, and the new moons. The moon will be at around about 11 degrees and 45 minutes of Virgo. Um, it's going to be um, travelling through the 13th um, Arabic lunar mansion, the Barker, and conjunct the fixed star Zosna. Uh, you might want to sow seeds during this time um, if it was the right time of year and you might if it was necessary want to take medicine but you wouldn't travel and you wouldn't get married. The quarter phases in astrology tend to represent times of challenges. This is a time when according to the Earth's perspective when the Sun and the Moon are at right angles to each other and exerting very little um, gravitational pull on the Earth, particularly with the moon at apogee. This does represent an, a challenge in the natural world. Thinking about the tides, for instance, um, there is very little difference between the high and the low tides. This means that those animals that rely on the influx from the high tides will not be getting um, as much as usual. Um, the other thing is that the tides wash in uh, food but they also wash out waste and when there isn't much difference uh, between the tides um, then these tend to accumulate on the for foreshores so those foragers that rely on wetlands and marshes and, um, and the foreshores um, probably go a bit hungry um, during this time. This also represents a time of challenge for agriculturalists. Um, Square, the first quarter square is a, a similar time of challenge, but it's a different kind of challenge. The first quarter is when um, the seeds are starting to, to grow, um, there's, there's fluid and moisture in them, and you know, there is, there is hope for the future, but then they might not meet the challenges of life. But the last quarter has got a different quality. It's got a um, it's a time of barrenness um, and a time when um, organisms, creatures, people who are um, not resilient at this time might find that they struggle. Pliny speaks of the moon as replenishing the earth as she moves towards it, but of um, drawing this kind of fertility away as she moves away. And what happens is, whereas in the first quarter, the, um, the fluids are moving up through the plants, into flowers, into leaves. Um, during the final quarter, through to the new moon, fluids move down into the roots and into the heart that, heartwoods. This means that um, there is uh, no point in planting anything at this time because it won't flourish. Um, you could concentrate on roots and with the moon in Virgo, um, you might decide to plant even in the northern hemisphere things like onions during this time because with the, with the moon and earth you think that roots would do very well. But during the final quarter they're not going to flourish because um, there isn't the kind of burgeoning uh, quality um, to, the, to the moon. It's losing light, it's waning um, and the fertility isn't there. But there are things that you can do. Um, during this time, which, which uh, honour both the quarter phase and the fact that it happens in Earth. So you might want to transplant because roots um, should be um, fairly strong at this time and they won't be too disturbed. You could decide um, to turn over your earth. You might decide to do some fertilising, some mending of fences. Um, you would probably be best advise during this time if you're not feeling resilient um, to rest 
and contemplate what you could do better. Um, and then this goes for a garden, you might want to cut the grass and rake the leaves and do all those things, but nothing that is, is um, nothing that is going to ex be expected to come to anything. This is a time of contemplation, of rest, and of respecting that things need to have a time of fallowness. Thank you. Um, I'll see you next week. Bye.